All right, so this is a 45 minute long process that I've cut down to five minutes. A lot of it's waiting. And a lot of it was reading and troubleshooting and figuring out what I did wrong. So I mean, I'm not gonna insult anyone's intelligence here and just say I'm, uh, I'm copying it from the page to the left and read, but I will try to describe to the best of my knowledge what it is I'm doing with the, the little knowledge of uh, Linux that I have. So I just ran the first couple of commands here. I've just done an update on my system, so I know I've already done the update. So since we know we've done the update, I'm doing the Python install scripts to make sure I have both Python 3 dev and Python 3 vnv. I'm not sure what that means from what I can glean from what we're doing here. It looks like we're setting up a virtual environment, it says uh, use a Python virtual environment. So I would imagine that VENV is that virtual environment. So since we don't have that, we're gonna install it. And as you can see, I typed EVN, that's not a thing. Go back and, and fix that. So we did fix the ENV and now we're running the fourth code, the fourth line of code under run for Python 3. After that is ready to go, we are going to go into that virtual environment. And again, this is just from my understanding. I could be entirely wrong here. And now we're setting up everything else. So this is the part where a lot of people might have audio issues. If you're having issues with audio, I would definitely make sure you have the audio. Port audio 19 sounds audio related. So I'm doing that. And again, I've skipped a lot of the loading process here, so in moments where you see it go super fast, and you're like, why is my pie so slow? Do keep in mind, this is a 45 minute video that I've condensed into five minutes. It might take half an hour to make a coffee. I don't know if it was the Alexa install or the Google install that was just like, hey, chill for a minute. This might take a bit, but I enjoyed that. It, was, it told me to get a coffee, so I did. So here we're actually installing the Google Assistant, so it's getting fun. This is also the longest part of the video, so here's where you see me go into the background, I'm reading up on what we're about to do next. I also realize that we're gonna need the Google information for our Google account, so in the Pi, so I'm on my Windows desktop on the left and inside of VNC on the right, in the Pi, I'm logging into my Google account and making sure I have my Google activity set up. We're also gonna need a .json file that will exist in the root directory or in the pi folder of the system. So I've enabled the Google API. I'm doing what it's telling me to do with the JSON file because I realize now I haven't done what it told me to do with the JSON file. And it takes me a moment to realize that I'm about to download this thing on my Windows. So <laughs> ignore that. And later, after creating it, I do download it on the pi. We are setting up a Raspberry Pi. So here's the part where I typed in Google Pi. I named my Raspberry Pi Alexa Pi. So I'm sure it's having a moment wondering, what am I? But that's okay. You can be an Alexa Pi and you can be a Google Pi. I'm gonna figure it out. And I say that now, but as soon as I installed this Google, Alexa's dead. Now when I try to launch Alexa, the microphone and audio does not actually respond when I when I command. It tries to open, it just doesn't capture the audio and then do anything important with it. So now we're, we're pretty much done. We've uh, set up the entire Google Pi. We've got the JSON file and I'm about to run the final script, which is basically start the Google Assistant. If you like this video, I encourage you to like it. Watch the second one, which actually came out first with me just playing around with the pie. And if you want to subscribe, I mean, you can see I've got like four or maybe five of those people now. You want to become number six, there's a button. Appreciate you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you again.